Okay, folks, with all the stupid memes about a potential space force, I thought I should point out why we would possibly want one. The reality is it would be a fulfillment of the SDI program. Now, I do realize that many of you are too young to know what SDI was. It was known as the Strategic Defense Initiative, also known as Star Wars, under President Ronald Reagan in the 1980s. Now, say what you want, but SDI, frankly, just the mere threat of SDI is what brought the USSR to the table and led to the largest de-escalation of nuclear weapons in the history of mankind. And it was the Soviet attempt to keep pace with the U.S. militarily that led to their eventual collapse and breakup. That led to a free Lithuania, Ukraine, Estonia, a reunified Germany, the fall of the Iron Curtain, etc. That is all fact, folks, not opinion. It is history, and some of us are old enough to remember the nuclear drills and hiding under our desks at school. We also remember things like the miniseries, The Day After. You see, in the 1970s and 80s, the threat of nuclear war and an end to mankind was very real. Now, in 2018, nations like China and Russia are developing hypersonic missiles. This means faster than Mach 5, or 3,800 miles per hour. Defense systems like our THAAD system are useless against such things, as are all of our most advanced missile systems. The anti-missile systems in use today intercept missiles when they are in terminal fall. In other words, for all practical purposes, just before impact. Our hit rate and tests on these is about 50%, so we generally shoot two interceptors at every threat, which mostly results in 100% success, well on paper anyway. With hypersonic missiles, that rate falls to near zero. Additionally, many of these missiles carry multiple warheads. Some Russian ones carry, say, 10. So a rocket goes into space and begins re-entering. Upon doing so, one target becomes 10. Each of those 10 warheads now has a different target it intends to hit. So Russia or China could send just five of these and potentially have 50 nuclear detonations as a result on U.S. soil. This could be potentially the 50 largest cities in the United States with only five missiles. Got it? Good. The only way to build a shield against such technology is to be able to take out these ICBMs in space while they're still intact. The Space Force is for that, not fighting imaginary enemies from beyond the moon or other things like that. Now it is important to understand that I'm not saying we either should or should not do this. I am not defending or attacking the concept. I am providing you something very rare today. Actual facts about the situation that you can now consider for yourself. So at least now you can do something even more rare than being given facts today. You now have the opportunity to consider the actual facts when forming your own actual independent opinion on the matter. To use this information as a starting point, to do more research, verify what I have said, learn more, and use logic to form your own opinion. For this reason, I have not given my opinion here at all. We call that journalism, where you simply provide the facts. On that note, I will say this in closing. If Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton had proposed this, CNN, MSNBC, CBS News, and every other fake news outlet out there would think it was a great idea. And they would be giving you the facts I just did to back it up. Again, what I've provided you today is fact, not opinion. And in fact, I'll repeat, I did not even give my opinion. Still, I expect to be attacked now for a position I have not even taken, such as the world we live in in 2018.